Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy and Scott Leroy Marketing coming in to you live from my hometown of Dallas, Texas. Even though I'm currently out of Orlando, oh, Dallas is always my hometown. That's where I grew up. So just in case you guys didn't know, there you go. All right, but today we're going to come over with a new tip that just recently launched over at Family Reunion. Now, obviously, you may have seen my tip previously about the brand new email option or email uh I don't want to say platform, but command email applet that's available, obviously, under your settings section on here. That's going to link up with all of your smart plans and very soon additional applets. All right, but there is also a report section on here, too, that will help you out. Now, obviously, if you've gone through that previous tip, you'll know under the settings section you can actually change your name and your reply to email. So this is basically replacing MailJet that you had previously, and it's not your command email. Now you will receive 5,000 emails for free that you can utilize. So if you have a, a larger database than 5,000, right, there are options to actually upgrade at the end of the day starting at $10 a month. All right, so feel free to take a look at those additional items on there. Now with that being said on here though, you can actually pull reports based on those emails that you're sending out now. That is one of the biggest items that a lot of agents have always asked for is, hey, is there a way to actually see how well our smart plans are doing? All right, well now you can. That's the best part about it. All right, so if you actually come under command and we go to the reports section on here, all right, now this is where you could previously see some of your reports inside command. Obviously, you could see some of your opportunity reports. You could view your goals as well if you've actually added inside your goals for 2020. But now when we click on reports on here, there's a new tab. All right, brand new tab for emails. So I'm going to click on the emails option, and we can actually see right on here, here's our monthly account usage. Now remember, you get 5000 for free. Now that's the same amount that you had previously with eEdge. This transition will be very simple. All right, so it's going to be the exact same on here. Now, of course, if you need more than that, starting at the uh, lowest amount is $10 a month at 10,000 emails. You can upgrade to that. There is an upgrade option on here. All right, and then there's even upgrades beyond that too if you happen to have a, a larger database or maybe you're on a team with a larger database. All right, but then we can actually come down here and see some of our metrics. The percentage of the amount of emails that we've sent that have been opened, that have been clicked on, that have been replied, undelivered, unsubscribed, marked as spam. This will help you out tremendously to ensure that the emails that you're sending out through that smart plan, now that you can actually go through and completely customize it, are up and running properly and that people are actually looking at them. That's one of the biggest things. They're looking at them. They're opening them. They're clicking on what you want them to click on through the call to action. All right. Maybe they've replied back to it on here. All right. So that'll help out tremendously to take a look at that. So I just want to give you a heads up of how simple it is to actually take a look at your monthly report on here. All right. This is going to make your life a lot easier. All right. And as you can see on here, here's the total number of emails sent by command email on your behalf. All right. So since I've already talked about it a couple times, I'm not going to make you go back to the other video on here. If you click on your name at the top right, you can go to settings. All right, and then if you scroll down a little bit further on here, it's near the bottom. In fact, it almost might be at the exact bottom unless it has changed recently. All right, you'll actually be able to see your command email. And this is where you can actually update your name that'll pop up and the reply to email. Now, the email it's going to come out from is going to be a specific email for yourself as the agent. All right, so, but it's not going to be your actual email. I just want to make sure you know about that. So even if you add inside your email on here, that's still going to be the reply to email at this time. All right, and this is going to work fantastic for all of your smart plans. All right, but that is the easiest way to keep track of your smart plans, see what's working, what isn't working, to give you a better idea on there, too. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.